Welcome back, this is Ant-Man 2050, and we're playing XCOM 2 Shadow of War. Oh, dear god. Alright, let's try that again. XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Too many wars. Alright, so we're getting ready to head on Operation Banished Knife. We're gonna get ourselves a scientist. We've got uh, Captain Marvel, Cable... Goblin Punch. In position for deployment. All right, take your gaze then. Okay, Goblin Punch, Tingu, and now I forgot who the other two are. <laughs> good, good job, good job, Ant Man. So yeah, before long we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to deal with the the last alien ruler as well. We also need to make a plan for our final, final chosen, and then uh, I, I guess we're we're getting close to the end, so we might as well start getting ready for that too. We just got a tip from a resistance contact in the field. A high-ranking Advent officer was spotted moving through the area with limited escorts. This could be a chance for us to disrupt their current operations and throw off their command structure. Your orders are to eliminate that officer with extreme prejudice. Alright. Oh, yep, yeah, we got uh, M squared in there. And of course Hanzo. Which I'd really like to get a second Templar. Menace one five. We're tracking the Advent General and his escorts, but we don't have an exact fix on their location. Sweep the area and eliminate the target along with any other hostiles that stand in your way. Commander, we managed to access an old reconnaissance satellite passing over the AO. We've got a complete picture of the area. There shouldn't be any surprises on this one. Yeah, right, that that makes things a lot a lot easier in life. We're looking for our oh, geez. yeah. We're looking for the commander. Let's take a look and see if we can't find air commander real fast before we even start having to go out here. Commander's gonna look like a captain, but with green. So there he is. All right. Wow, this is gonna be uh, an interesting map. And if you guys didn't already notice, I just uh, clicked on her. I have uh, a random XCOM soldier, so that's kind of cool. Unfortunately, when the map is done, we don't seem to get them, which is really, really too bad. So we're trying to make our way over here as best we can without getting detected. It's Ada. It's really nice to be able to have all this foreknowledge. It'll be interesting to see where these guys wind up going. Let's do this. And these sewer maps are actually really neat. They're kind of a pain because you can't tell exactly how high everything is, but oh, whoops, I thought I was controlling somebody else. Oh well, Tingu will waste a piece of cover. Hopefully they don't look this way. I actually thought I was using uh, one of the squares. So that is my. I fault. see the path. Like if you look in here, you can see that uh, I got propaganda poster of Tingu hanging out there. Very nice. No need to ask twice.
square. This is who I thought I had when I moved uh, Tingu out here, but. Time to motor. I'm gonna keep Emily here safe. I kind of want to see if I manage to make a, a kill with them if they get a stick around or not. So we'll see. Maybe we can feed it a kill. By the time I get to that part of the map, it's just going to be crushed. And he actually moved quite a bit. Downside is that these guys did not move. Which makes me very, very nervous. So where can I put Nathan where he gets good movement, but we're unlikely to be seen. Well, we got a whole wall covering there, so we ought to be able to move him out. This time we're going to know for sure that we have Tingu, so... Put him in the center here. Tinko's got a new cool ability. He should be even more amazing than he was before. I can make it. The big trick is we're gonna try to get close enough that if these guys keep heading forward, we might be able to catch them on the other side of the train. Otherwise, we're gonna have to change our whole. Um, strategy here. We also want to make sure we're not putting ourselves in a position done. where for some reason they come over the train or these guys actually move down the hall. We're not just going to be standing out where we can be seen real easy. Which means that you don't want to put yourself anywhere Pick in a direct line with that door. would have been nice if they would have moved a little differently, but Roger that. what can you do? Normally I wouldn't want to quite move this quick. I'd like to have people on overwatch, but most efficient path, hero run. Good job, Gun Punch. Something disturbs the floor. Just so long as they don't go back to hang out with the Sectopod. Because that would be no boring. Yeah, don't worry about that. Hopefully that's not load-bearing. Oh man, that makes things rough. I kind of wonder if they're just heading in a circle. Nathan down here. Move, move, move. Tingo is going to be the tricky one. Visual sensor artifact. No, wait. It's just an enemy patrol. The big problem 
I can cover it. With Tingu is just that he can't hide. Heading there now. So if something comes down that hallway, it's going to see him. I don't think it's going to be a problem, but I don't want to count on that either. Moving out. I'm gonna make sure I get him in here too. On it. Don't. I can get her up here, but man, oh man, that is a risky. It's a risky play. I think we'll be all right, though. It's definitely not something we could have done had we not had this advantage that we have right now. Overwatch. It's kind of pointless, but we'll put her in Overwatch. Well, this could be dangerous. Aquí hay un pelotón enemigo. Yeah, that makes things really dangerous. Holy cow. Well. Let's see, can we... Oops, come on. I, I just want to open the door. I don't, I don't want to kill the world. There you go. The path is clear. So yeah, this is a really dangerous <laughs> spot to be. I don't like this. Um, how far away are these guys? They're they're pretty they're pretty good. They're far enough. Um, let's just hope that this doesn't happen. But if it does, I want to have as many guns as we can ready. Uh, this group gets popped. I don't know. I don't know what will happen. I'll maintain my watch. It's good. It's good. You should do that. Location confirmed. The down says I can't really get anybody else in here ready to ready to find. that location. That's not true. I can get squares right here. On Overwatch. Whether they can draw a line of fire or not, I guess we will we'll find out. Solid copy. Hopefully this is all for nothing, and they just turn back. Start patrolling back the way they came. A little delayed reaction on that explosion there. Okay, so they're heading in a in a circle. B 
But yeah, we're in a rough situation here. Let's just uh, take a quick look. Okay, we got one piece of terrain that they don't see. And if we come over there, we'll be alerting them. Okay, so who do we have right now? Alright, we have Hanzul. Oh no, we are, we are on Nathan. Alright, Hanzul. Let's go ahead and open this door. That'll be our first course of action. Just in case. My senses are keen. I'll flip that on. And for some reason they want me to jump through the window, which is always a bad choice. So, something we haven't talked about. You can control your movement a little bit better. You can put your cursor where you want it and hold down, in my case the X button, and it'll put a little drop down. And then from there, you can continue to make the rest of your move. But it'll uh, decrease the, the range, right? But you can control how your character is going to move without having to actually On Overwatch. Um, have them make stupid decisions where they'll jump through the windows for no reason at all. You saw me do that with Hanzo just a few moments ago as well, where I directed him to move to this side here, but not step on any of these red spots where they would see us. I wanted to do that with uh, Captain Marvel, but evidently I messed that up, so... We're kind of in the same boat here. Understood. Moving out. Hopefully we didn't put her in a spot for her. Moving to Overwatch. Head now. Nathan over here. Affirmative. Covering now. And we'll put Tingu... Right up here. I know, I'm, I'm sure it's like, oh, riveting gameplay here, but uh, this is the setup that we're kind of got to do. Hopefully we don't get discovered here. It'll be kind of a letdown after all that. Yeah, you just, just keep smashing that up. Identity confirmed. That's the general. Yep. Take him out before they can escape. We won't get another shot at this. Pelotón enemigo localizado. Maybe? Okay. Alright, so now, yeah, we got all, like, a whole, whole lot of red. Alright, let's see what we got first here. It'd actually be really nice if we could just wait another round, but I think if we do that... I think we're gonna be in a bad situation if we do. I know if we do it right here though, we run the risk of alerting everything around us. Which is also not the best 
alternative. Let's see if we can get to any of these guys over here. I want to leave... I want to leave him open. For sure, we're going to pop both these groups if we do this. Moving out. Affirmative. Covering now. Wow. Yeah. We kind of left her in a bad spot. All right. You know what? It's it's uh, it's a bad choice, but it's not gonna get any better. So let's uh, let's do it. Nice. Got a ton of damage with burning. Hopefully he runs out into the fray. Nice. Got a ton of damage. Deflection. Oh, if he explodes, this will be grand. Hostiles pacified. Oh, good. Dennis okay. One five kill confirmed. That's how it's done. We need to clear the area of any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them to recover the general's body. Dang it. Well, we knew that was a possibility. Okay. So what do we got? Goblin Strike has a ton of abilities. Alright, so we got Lightning Hands. We've got 100% here. We might as well take that. Nice, that's two uh, points of life left. Our regular pistol shot, we've got uh, an 80. Yeah, let's go ahead and take it. This guy below us has a strong possibility of dying. From his burn. Let's just see, can we make this happen? I'm gonna blow up cover and do a good deal of damage. We nearly hit one or the other, but we can't hit them both. But if we blow this wall up, we also blow up a lot of our own cover. So... Is it worth it? That is the question. I'm gonna say no. Stomp, stomp, stomp! The nice thing should be if I make this shot with Tingu. Which evidently I, I can't do, which is fun. Yeah, let's do this right here. This will break the mech's overwatch. It's kind of a waste of this. keep him from being able to do what he wants to do. We can definitely take out the pacifier. Do a little bit of damage to him. A little bit of damage to him. Take him out. A little bit of damage to him. I think... I 
think we want to do as much damage as we can to this one. Feel the power of the Templars. This will also give us momentum. Which for right now I'm going to leave on the table. Okay, so we're getting down to our last guys. Alright. Oh, if we could make that. It's a 71, though. I mean, I, I think, honestly, we, we owe it to ourselves to try. Come on, Nathan. Be a hero. Never mind. Yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah, no, you you definitely he definitely didn't get it. Let's see, what else do we get? What all abilities do we have here? All right. So in theory, it's gonna go down this next turn. The guy in the back. Our man here, not so much. And neither is the purifier. So we didn't take any shots at it. If we move down this way, we should be able to get a shot at the purifier. If we move over here, we'll get a shot at either the mech or so the purifier. I can either leave Hanzo there, and he can guard from one shot, or I can move Hanzo. This is a tricky... It's a tricky position, and I'm not a big fan of it. Let's move already! Yep, right through the window. It totally makes sense. Oh, you know what? Oh, this could be... This could be good. Let's try this first. Okay. Temporarily disable. 100%. Take control over. That would be really nice. I, th I think we gotta go with the... I think we gotta go with the 100% right this time. Of course we would have gotten it. But this will uh, pretty much ensure that we're in. that I can just cover with uh, with Hanzo back here. Dang it! Yeah, only one damage. Dang it. Oh, I'm hit. oh nice. Nice, that is fantastic. That less so. Uh, I can't. I can't stop it. Okay, so in theory, they actually don't know where we are. Oh, I'm sorry, Em. First things first, let's... I would love to rend a lot of these other things, but... I think... This is the one to go with. I know he's gonna oh, drop himself into stasis. Straight. Stasis is. But by doing so, 
We'll break the mind control. Alright, we'll just keep him here in parry. Alright. So, first things first, well, we still have Tingu over here. I don't know why I think he can turn around this corner and shoot this thing. I guess. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. It makes sense to me that he could do it, but I guess he just can't, so. Whatever. So, yeah, if he hits hard enough, he'll almost take it out, but he's got no chance of a crit. We took that last piece of armor off, though, which is nice. Let's get up here and see what Goblin Strike can see. She can't see anything right now. So where can we put her that she'll be good for next round? Place her right here. Claro que sí. Now there's no way he's not going to take one click of damage this time. But I think just because we have it, let's do face off. Take that wall. Dang it. Which was was pretty good. I'm not sure exactly what Battle Fury does. But I don't I don't necessarily like it. Alright, so we need to take care of some healing. Let's do Emily just under the idea that maybe we can recruit her. And then we'll come back to her in just a moment. So here's the tricky thing. It's always hard to tell what shot will cause this thing to explode. On the move. So we're gonna hope that this does. Taken care of. Nice. Let's just get rid of this one with Captain Marvel. I have absolutely no desire of it coming back. How many Holy is that cow. now? If we could have hit like that last time, that would have been fantastic. Alright. So let's give that him some helped. coverage. Still got the 72%, which is no good. But let's take it anyways. Dang it. Adjusting sights. Yeah, yeah, you better. Now if we missed on a 72, what are we gonna do on a 60? Alright. Tired of waiting around. In theory. We should be better off here, but we're not. Okay, that's that's fun. We got plasma, we got acid. All right. Um, well, cable. Since I screwed up and moved you closer instead of moving you away, I guess let's just fire and hope that you can hit. All right, nine. That wasn't bad. Training ammo fast. He's got a burn on. I doubt there's any way he's going to take two points of damage for that, though. Oh, Nathan, survive! They got me. Oh man, just barely. Holy cow! Nice, good work. I've got 
troops. Dang it. As you may have guessed, that was definitely not what I wanted. But I guess it could be worse. We still... we're not in super, super desperate positions right yet. Alright, let's just try... I'm trying to overdrive with Tingu. Give me three shots, each shot with a diminishing targeting. Got 84. Let's do it. Their armor isn't bad either. No, it's not. Follow up. We got a. Oops, what are you doing? Alright, so we got a 69 chance. Come on, keep hitting. Well, at least you got the, uh, the one hit for, uh, for free, out of the stock. Come on, one more time. Nice. Alright, that reduces all of his, uh... I'll let his defense out. Any way we go with this, this is super, super dangerous. I don't know if it's technically worth it or not. The more damage we can deal to it, the better off we're going to be. Let's go ahead and try some of these other guys first, and then we'll then we'll move over. All right, so M squared. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to help Cable out real fast. Go help him out. Cause he is dying over there. All right, Wainwright, what can you do? It was 71%, which is not great, but it's not bad. Let's get Cable out of here. Whenever we get a chance, we're going to want to boost him with Let's another heal already. from Captain Marvel. Right, from here, we got 85, 61. I think we can probably, yeah, we can do this. Which may be the best way to go. As long as somebody can hit that, uh... Nice, alright. It didn't take a ton of damage, but it took enough. Combined its fall. Go heal him! So we know that we know that we've already used one turn. We got 61 here. Could use the missile. I think I'm we'll just gonna try the 61. Come on in. Yes. That's right. Yeah, that was a hey, toss me some ammo. super duper hell of a hit. That was amazing. On my way. Let's go ahead and put Emily over here. She'll pick up the item for us. I love this. I'm gonna go ahead and put her in Overwatch. Affirmative, covering now. Sadly, oh, I can target something. And I've got a hundred percent. Oh, it's a sniper. Okay, yeah. You know what? Let's um, let's do it. I mean, they're gonna give us a hundred percent on it. We might as well, right? Oh, nice. And then we follow up with a hair trigger. 
We still get 100%. Let's do it. Come on, goblin. Yeah. I can still not tell you guys how afraid I am of those. I just. They're they're meant to be menacing and scary, and my gosh, they uh, they certainly do. All right, so we got 96 with Captain Marvel here. We might as well go ahead and take it. Nice. You can't handle me. We have confirmation. Mission accomplished. You know, as missions go, that was probably was definitely one of the better ones. And so I guess we'll see if if we get to keep a recruit if they do significant damage in this mission, because uh, Emily definitely did. Which would be really, really nice if we got to keep them. I'm hoping we get some some promotions out of that, but I don't know if we did enough damage with enough In yet people. yet another brazen attack today, XCOM separatists again assaulted peaceful, law-abiding Advent citizens. Any witnesses should report immediately to Advent peacekeepers for processing. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, how many people in the in the sewers are really peaceful? I mean, come on. So let's see, most damage, Queen B, most attacks, Queen B, most under fire, Nathan. Move the furthest was Ether. Come on in the loading screen. Loading screen ending would be nice. Hmm. Taking forever to load. There we are. Good work out there, Commander. We're one step closer to taking back our planet. Sorry about that. A little bit of a, a little bit of a glitch. Had some freeze that I had to cut out. Let's go ahead and promote. So we got steady hands or aim. Both of these are very nice. Um, I actually prefer Steady Hand because when I set her up, I don't tend to want to move a whole lot, and that'll just keep boosting even if you don't move. Which would be really nice. Tango, finally. So I need to change his nickname because he is Tingu. Okay, so let's see what do we got. That is pretty cool, but. Bomber do. Okay, so we can get a bombard. Launch a BT to a visible location where it releases a powerful explosive blast. Ah, oh, man, I, I actually like both of these. I wish that I could boost him with combat intelligence, but unfortunately that's just not how the sparks work. Let's let's do the bomb. And we'll see from there. <clears throat> oh, finally! All right, Hanzo as well. I really want to give him lightning hands. I, I know it's stupid. I rarely shoot with him. I know it's stupid, but I really, really want to do this. Um, let's let's do the combat wave, and we'll just eat it for a couple of points, and get him lightning hands. And we'll just have to remember to actually shoot. Oh, hey, and M is going to get to level up to M squared. Evervigilance is really nice, and so is Guardian. They're both actually really, really great special abilities. Um, I 
let's go ahead and do Guardian. No, you know what? Let's do Ever Vigilance. I think I did Guardian on our other one. I think it'll be I think it'll work out well. Alright, let's go ahead and continue it. Oh shoot! She took our supplies. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. That's terrible. So our random recruit character ran off with the supplies too, since I had her pick them up. So that's awesome. <laughs> So yeah, don't don't do that. Don't let your uh, don't let Our your people run away with this stuff. As expected, Commander. I've mm. seen members of the crew quietly glancing at the scar on my neck. If I wasn't forced to remove the chip myself, the incisions might have been cleaner. It's possible. That does make things rough. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that for now. See, what were we planning to do first? I really was born catch. of the Elder's own power, of their very essence, to serve as their greatest champion. Yeah, For yeah, the yeah. gods have many children, but I am the true instrument of their will, and they instill in me an understanding of their gifts that none other can comprehend. Together, we have succeeded in our task. Right on. He's over there, yap yap yapping. I keep hoping for another soldier, but I just uh, I guess that we're not gonna be getting that anytime soon. Breakthroughs of research would be nice, but um Manufacture upgrade would be nice. I think we're just going to be better off knocking down some of the Avatar project. And if we do this, we can actually decrease their will for a little bit. Ghost is a colonel, so we ought to be alright to send her out. I want somebody with a will. Willpower in this game is kind of nice because it actually will keep you from getting as tired as quickly. So it is a little bit more of a nice skill than it has been in the past. The downside is it's, there's not a whole lot of use for it, so... Let's go ahead and send Betty out. Give her some more. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. I don't know if we have any more upgrades to do on that. We we'll probably should look into that next time. I do know in guerrilla training I have some stuff to do. Strategic resource located. Nice. Let's see about making some contacts real fast. So we still have a couple places that we want to do that as well. So we still need to make contact with most of the U.S. Yeah, Africa. Alright, let's go ahead and knock out Asia real fast. So once we get to the point where we actually start these missions Setting we're going to need to take these locations sector 14 east asia attempting to establish local regional contact yeah, let's see what that commander the aliens are still moving forward on the avatar project Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. This is true. Of course, we have to make contact there first. Nice, Piggy Pig got Fuse. Fortress, yep. 
After that, Piggy Pig is going to be a master. We won't need any more uh, training. Right on. So Gravy's got another special ability. Get him moving on his next one. We should be able to start taking him out soon, too. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll take it. I don't know. Okay. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Yeah, yeah I get it. We're trying. Oh, nice. Okay. Can you aid us, Commander? We are in need of your experience. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. So we get a scientist. Oh, we can also get uh, two grenadiers. All right. Let's. Yeah. Okay. Set rep the lost. Okay, let's Setting do it. Course for the Arctic territories. Downside is my best lost killer, Wendy, is still out and about. So, Commander, you should be aware we're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. All right, clear the squad. And make items available, of course. Make armor available, of course. Alright. And we can work from there. So we know Ghost is out. Piggy Pig. And both the Psy units would be okay for this, but they're not really all about the shooting that much. So let's do go ahead and take Queen Bee. Actually, you know what? Let's think about let's think about that. So we need to get some of our other guys boosted up here. And they're never going to get that way if we don't ever do anything with them. So let's get Waylon Jones out here. I've been wanting to for a long time. I feel like this might be the mission for it. We're not going to take all rookies because that would be a terrible, terrible choice. But we can at least take a few. Okay, and we're back. And we're back. Alright, so we don't want to just take a whole bunch of low-level guys. We need to take some of the people that we can rely on as well. Let's go ahead and take Beast. I love Connor Hawk, so let's go ahead and take Connor. I actually need to get at least one more ranger, I think, up to a high level. That would be a great thing, I think. I know we just got Hanzo back. Oh no, he's tired. We don't want to do that. Sorry. You don't want to send out tired soldiers if you can. Makes me really want to send a freed out, but... Once again, I have the same situation. I don't know if I really want to send out our boy free, and then we'll need him for a mission later. We can send Black Widow out, though. I might send Finn back as well. I don't know if I... I don't know if I want him out here either. Let's do Scorpion. I guess the nice thing is if we have both Finn and Waylon, we have two healers. And so we know we got a bunch of people that are putting out a lot of, of health recovery. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get ourselves set up. 
anything can happen on these maps, so it's important to have a wide variety of stuff. But I don't think we need to worry too much about explosives. That being said, you never know what kind of enemies you're going to run into out here, so let's not be too overconfident. Oops, picked the wrong thing there, sorry about that. There we go, weapon upgrades. Do we have any? No, nope. she ran off of them, so we're out of luck. Alright, so... For counter... Oh, we can do the katana. So somebody's still got the axe equipped. Let's go ahead and do the, the katana. We got a pretty fancy shotgun on him, so I don't think we're gonna do. I don't think we're gonna do the uh, the hunter's shotgun. At least not on him. But we'll throw tracer rounds on him, and then just to be safe, let's go ahead and put the healing vest on him. I'm going to go ahead and do dragon rounds for our sharpshooter here. And I don't think we'll need it, but um, I'm probably going to go ahead and... No, we'll save that for, uh, for Waylon. Let's get her... the scorpion armor. Got to remember to switch back our... Our weapons again here. We've got flame rounds, there we go. Any extra defense is just gonna be a good thing to have, I think. I don't necessarily think we're gonna run into robotic units here, but AP rounds are just nice to have anyways. Let's go ahead and do the hazmat suit, just in case. For Finn, we definitely want to make sure we got a med kit. And then I think just in case of robotics, we're going to go ahead and throw a blue screen. Which blue screen's never bad to have anyways, I don't think. And then for our last guy, for Waylon back here, Let's get him the exosuit. And we want to make sure he's got healing stuff as well. And we got the shredder gun, so we might as well try that out and see what that's like. If I remember right, it's basically just like a shrapnel shotgun. So it'll do a ton of damage in a straight line. Alright, so this is going to be the group that we're going to send out. Operation... So this is going to be the group that we send out. It's going to be Operation Foolish Father. We're going to go ahead and send out Killer Croc, Stormtrooper, Scorpion, Black Widow, the Spectre of the Connorhawk, and Beast. Until then, play games, have fun, be aware. It's Zatman 2050. Have a good one.